at 5, we continue to work major developments on Providence's financial crisis. A new report blasts former Mayor Cicilline's administration for its handling of the city's money. The council was doing everything it possibly could from stopping a budget, stopping Mayor Cicilline's request for compound colas. We first broke the findings of the report on WPRI.com last night and city officials discussed it at a news conference this morning. The review seeks to explain how Providence has ended up with a financial emergency that Mayor Angel Tavares has described as a Category 5 hurricane. Now, According to the report, the Cicilline administration transferred funds from the Rainy Day Fund without city council approval, failed to provide financial information on time, and drew up budgets based on unrealistic assumptions. Eyewitness News reporter Julie Raditsky is live with more on the report, including new reaction. Well, the City Council commissioned internal auditor Matthew Clarkin and, and fiscal advisor Gary Sass to take a closer look at the city's finances. And this report revealed that the recession and cuts in state aid were a big factor. But it did point a big finger at former Mayor David Cicilline. And the numbers weren't adding up. And the council was talking about on the record, in public hearings, anywhere they could, and not everybody was necessarily listening. City council members lashing out after a review revealed the city did not do enough to avert a financial crisis. Providence is currently facing a $110 million structural deficit. Gary Sass, the council's financial advisor, says former mayor David Cicilline failed to meet financial deadlines and wiped out the rainy day fund. Sass says implementing change is critical. Critical finding uh, was that the financial management system was dysfunctional, but the key word was system. So reserves, auditing, oversight, you know, budgeting uh, are all integral. The use of the rainy day. Cicilline defended his record to Eyewitness News. We made those decisions based on the information I had. I think they were the right decisions. It's easy to go back and say, well, should we have raised taxes? Should we have made big cuts in education? I don't think those were the right answers. The council is now trying to move forward. Through these recommendations, uh, the council is working towards a more efficient, more accountable, and more open government. Uh, a government with oversight necessary to ensure that city dollars are spent wisely. And coming up at 6, we'll have much more on this story, including reaction from current Mayor Angel Tavares. Live with the Providence Mayor, Providence Mobile Newsroom, Julie Raditsky, Eyewitness News.